What's going on, everybody? Welcome to GMI's World. And right here, we're going to be talking about these limited time only signature players with Xavier Rhodes and Jordan Reed. Now, initially, when I looked at it, I was like, you know what? It doesn't really make any sense to even think about, you know, getting any new cards. Xavier Rhodes is okay. It looks like these are the two cards that are launching the actual signature series uh, promo. Um, but they're very, very, it, it doesn't, let, let, let me just explain to you what I'm saying, right? It doesn't make any sense to buy either of these cards simply because we understand what cards that are similar to what these are already does. So if you're thinking about doing it, because that's what a lot of you guys do. A lot of you guys are just getting mad and you're just getting into it. You're trying to understand the concepts of the game. You know, what should I do? What, what works with what? Uh, the chemistries. All right. Even for my dudes that watch me regularly, uh, you guys already know. If you buy the packs for this and you pull these cards, sell them immediately. Do not wait, because right now, look, whatever his average price was, at, when they first come out, people are just going to buy them. That's with any card, right? They're just going to buy them. But when you look overall, unless you're a Vikings fan, it really makes no sense to get this card, okay? Let's take a look at it. See, the thing about this is I can't really show you, like, Calvin Johnson on this list, my free safety that I use, but I'll show you Marshawn Lattimore, okay? And he's a rookie premier card. Obviously, this guy's a 96 overall, so most of you are going to say, yeah, but he's one point higher. Yeah, that's true. But keep in mind that these cards are supposed to be upgraded as limited times. But what they've done is, they, you know, last year they had limited times and they had the regular version. Now they just do one of them, okay? So they slap on a cam with pick specialists that doesn't really mean anything. And um, the blanket coverage would probably help my stuff because I have the, uh, you know, the Joey Bolson and stuff like that with the blanket coverage. Okay, so the pick specialist gives them a chem that they're like they're less likely to drop the interceptions. And a lot of you guys have been asking about like specific chems, which ones matter. That one doesn't matter in my opinion because we all know if the ball is tipped, even if it lands on the ground, your opponent is going to pick it. You see what I'm saying? So let's just get that out the way to understand that everything that's going on with the promos, it's very very difficult for me to recommend a card to you guys because I don't feel comfortable. It's like I'm lying to you. You see what I'm saying? But a lot of you guys are like, yeah, bro, you say all the cards suck. You guys don't seem to understand that after every patch, defensively, this year, the game has gotten progressively worse as far as the way they play. And um, you guys have to take that into account when you're getting these new cards. Because if you look at it, right, he has a 92 zone coverage. So he has to meet the threshold. EA is doing that to make sure that they meet the threshold. That doesn't mean that they're going to play the zone coverage. You see what I'm saying? They 91 was something that some guy came up with, whoever, okay, earlier in the year. Like, you got to have this, and they reacted. Then EA, the first patch was to make them actually live up to that, to live up to the actual zone coverage, okay? Because it was, it was just being told that, yeah, you got to have high zone. So a lot of the guys that were qualifying were using the Seattle Seahawks, and they had, you know, their players had higher zone coverages. So that's why they were using them, right? Now... We all think that it still works, and it actually doesn't. Because I've actually played against guys that had no eyeballs, no air. They had no, uh, you know, eyelids, air, uh, eyeballs, earlobes, like whatever kind of facial features you think. They didn't have a nose, and they blew me out. Okay, so you need to understand this as we adjust to the way that the game is. Because what happens now is the best way to stop everything is just to come out and stop coverages. All right. Since the last pack, just come out and stop coverages, don't do anything, and then everything will work for you. That's pretty much what they're doing. And we have to wait to see if that's going to be a trend because they've been slowly taking away user capability. We'll see what goes on later on. But anyway, just look at this right here, right? When you see Marshawn Lattimore with the 96 speed, you see the acceleration, you see all the stuff, right? And you see the signature series Xavier Rhodes. When you search Lattimore, just look at his price, right? You see his prices? Let's go to like the um the buy now price. Okay, so his lowest price right now is 750. So let's get out of the signature series real quick. And then we're gonna go over, we're gonna search Lattimore. Keep in mind, I paid nothing for mine because I had the uh, rookie premiere. For anybody that didn't play Madden 18 and complete the set, there is no way for you to get that card. So you have to buy him, right? Okay, here we go. Now, Lattimore. If you look at this, he's 795, right? Which corner is better? You see what I'm saying? This is why I'm saying if you want to utilize your coins and do it for the best, like do everything for the for, for what the value of your coins and your time is worth, you're going to want to go with the best card. And this guy is a stud. 
All right? He's a stuck. I don't have any of the chems. As you can see, it's the same card. Why do I have it on buy now? Get, get out of it. No. Okay, they're comparing it. All right, so look. You can see it's the same card, but he has the, um, with a physical front times two, and he has pick six. But they're the same exact card. Everything is exactly the same. But he's valued right now at the same price as a signature card. So why would you spend money on the signature card? Why wouldn't you get Marshawn Lattimore? This is one staple in my defense that probably would, he's not going to go anywhere because I know he plays defense. And keep in mind, he what does he have, like a 93 zone? That's all he has. But he plays like an outright animal, like straight animal. So if you were looking for a corner and, you know, you're like, oh my goodness, say you pulled Xavier Rhodes, sell him ASAP and get that Lattimore. That's all I got to say about that guy. Xavier Rhodes, for, that card is straight garbage, all right? So don't worry about it. Just do what you got to do. That's as far as the corner goes. Now, let's jump over back. Let's go to Jordan Reed. This is what's stupid about this. Let me just explain something to you, right? Don't worry about his price being so ridiculous. He has a tier three card, right, that they released earlier. So look, this is what we're going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you. I'm going to show you exactly why I'm telling you guys when certain cards come out, if you buy packs... Right now is the perfect time to just sell what you pull, okay? Because these cards are useless. People are going to have them on. They're going to tell you that, yeah, bro, the guy is good. It's a lie. Now, look, you see this right here. He's at 592, right? Same battle ready, same all the other stuff, right? Okay, let's look at this. He has 86 speed, 93 catching. Let's just look at the key things. 86 speed, 93 catching, 79 run block. Now, let's go to this, okay? So they gave him, what is it, plus three more speed, a little bit of run block, a little bit of catching. If you guys like, if you guys know like I know, it doesn't matter about the catching stats. I recently bought Randy Moss in my previous video, and I raid sold him during a live stream earlier today. The catching, it doesn't really, bro. All you're gonna do is drive yourself insane because the game is extremely inconsistent with the way they respond to catching the ball. So if you ask me, yo, G Maya, what do you think about the signature series, Jordan Reed? I'm going to tell you, instead of getting him, why not just get a Bo Jackson? Why not get an out-of-position Bo Jackson? You see what I'm saying? Like, it, It's not like I'm trying to tell you anything that is like, yo, bro, I don't want you to get anything. I want you to get stuff that works. Believe me when I tell you, you will see no difference. You see all that green on the left? You will see no difference in-game. I promise you, with, with, with both these cards. But one of them is half the price. So what, what do you want to do? You see what I'm saying? In Ma The last Madden that was decent with the stats, probably 25. I would never in my life have sold Randy Moss at any point in the year. He stayed on the team the entire time. This game, I don't know what they're doing at the office, but whatever they're doing, they have to be monitored because there has to be something going on that should not be happening. Okay? So now when we look at the team, right? This is what's pretty much going on. Michael Irvin is still there because for some reason he just makes plays. And I don't understand it. He's just a card that makes plays. Does he drop the ball often? Yes, he does. All the time. Gronkowski, terrible player. This guy sucks, but he's a great run blocker, so I'll leave him out there. I have Bo Jackson that I put at my wide receiver position when I'm running the ball. I pro, strong, whatever, stuff like that. Julio Jones has been pretty decent for me for the, uh, you know, the first three games that I got. But I'm going to let you guys understand this. Once the new cards drop with Ultimate Legend and stuff like that, he doesn't really do anything that really has me attached. Like, yo, I got to keep him. So just so we're on the same page with that. Like, it's it's nothing like that. Like, I don't really care. I'll, this guy will be gone ASAP. Dude sucks to me. All right? But right now, he's good. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, right now, we could deal with him. But in all reality, he's garbage. All right? So now... Now that you've seen that with the tight ends and everything like that, and I've, I've already suggested what you should probably do if you're going to pull packs, I'm not going to pull packs for this because it doesn't make any sense to do that. you got to get the signature pack. Or I'm not doing any of that because I'm, I'm, this game has got me at wit's end right now. So now when you look at the corners that I have, like I told you, Willie Brown does not play a snap ever at any time. Okay? Never does this man play a snap. Now, this guy... Uh, Sean Taylor either comes down to play corner or Calvin Johnson comes down to play corner. That These are guys that make plays still in the game, but because of the patch, they they also now react stupidly. And it has nothing to do with their zone coverage because Sean Taylor actually goes up to like a 97 zone coverage, and he does the same thing as a 91 zone coverage guy in the same zone, whether it's a cloud flat, soft squat, 
whatever it is. So just I'm just trying to make sure you guys understand that. So when you're looking at Xavier Rhodes and you're like, yo, bro, he has a 92 zone and all that stuff like that, he's going to make plays. If you like the team, if you're a Vikings fan, if you're a Xavier Rhodes fan and you're one of those guys that say a road closed until they got just outrageously obliterated by the Eagles, then you go, you go with it, bro, to each its own. But just keep in mind, and be, let me be very, very clear, it doesn't matter what the stats are on the card. 91 zone, okay, yeah, yeah, it's better. They're going to play a little bit better than guys that are below that. But I wouldn't really, you know, sell the farm on that aspect anymore. I'm just letting you guys understand that, okay? Plus, you got other things coming with the new max level upgrade. There's so many other cards that are going to be available. So if you want to, you buy the packs, you go here, you get the signature series packs. Do they have it? Or, or is it just in regular packs? I think they're just inside these packs. Really? Okay. So you can just, I thought they had like special signature series packs like they did uh, previous years. But it looks like Reed and Rhodes are in packs of 48 hours. So you could probably just pull them now, which is cool. You could pull them out of any pack. Good luck with it. Get rid of them fast. Definitely subscribe. Leave a like. Video view goal. Let's get to 30K on this video. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.